Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are going to have a chat oh, with Rosie here. What'd you find in apartment 3? Well. Was he making bombs like I said? Well, not really. He wasn't there. It's And it's weirder than that. Uh, it's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. It's not safe in there. Oh, Please stay out his security there. deposit's not going to cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Okay, cool. Let me know what happens. Alright, I think we're gonna head back to Ranger Headquarters, and I'll do that. Uh, and then I'll be right back. Right, so we're back at R Ranger HQ, and there's this guy, Gary... Hey, who's in charge? Nasal here? Wolf. But I think before we talk to him, we're, we're gonna go get Here's healed, sir. just in case. Because we're pretty banged up. You know all those people I was patching up downtown? There is one man responsible for all that bloodshed. Nellius Dorsey. You want to make me happy? Find him and make him pay. We're working what do you on need, it, Rangers. You'd like to get of course. Up. Have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stop. Okay. Good. Alright, let's go talk to this guy, and then we're gonna go look for Irv. Rangers. Got a proposition for you, Rangers. You're the CO around here? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Yeah, maybe. Uh, who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Okay. You've been to Ranger Citadel? I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Okay, what do you want? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Okay, 150 bucks. What's so bad about the synths? Tell us about Cochise. Tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice. And which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Okay. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Uh, what's so bad about synths? Jesus. You're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. Okay. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Hmm. Not on my watch. We cap him as soon as we see him. Don't give him a chance to talk. Uh, the synth is called October 11? Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caved some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it... Will help us find its comrades. 
Okay. All killing this October 11 help us find others. Why did Daisy ban you? Uh, Howell killing this October 11? All synths got us. a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Okay. Why did Daisy ban you? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Okay. <laughs> Add it to your list. Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Okay. Uh, let's go check out the armory. We haven't done that. The armory is over here. You found that rogue synth yet? No. To unlock the armor, you can go come here to shop for new weapons and armor at a discounted rate. Okay. And do they thank us? Fuck, no, they don't. Are you crazy talking that way? Somebody's getting married. I don't care. Hey, you Man, it's loud in here. Bury the evidence when one of their kids runs over some refugee, chase off asshole bill collectors. It's hard work. And do we get invited to the check the ammo box? Parties? Do they even send a keg or two to the station? Done him a favor. I've never seen it. See? Anything else we can I do? Told you. Weapon crate. Motherfuckers. Each and every one. Shrink grenades and 12 energy cells. What do the shrink grenades do? Apply shrunk, but what does shrunk do? I have no idea what shrunk does. I wish it would, it would tell us somewhere what, what these status effects do. Let's try picking that lock. Some armor. Guess we'll loot that. Alright, let's talk to you. Anyway, Sheriff Daisy asked me to set up an armory for you. Get you situated. So, I'll get started on that. Want to see what I've got so far? Sure thing. Uh, thanks for helping After us out. what you did for me, it's a pleasure. Never been happier to follow an order. Yeah, that's good. Uh, why are you liking it It's here? fine. Can't complain. Happy okay. to. Take a look. 10% discount. Nice. Okay, so what do we have? We have some machine turrets, some decoys, pocket swap. What the heck is that? Uh, just deploy saw pop. Deploys a robotic saw pop follower that will assist in combat substructs after combat has ended. Okay. Ablative spray. Uh, lay a thick layer on your armor to gain basic insulation against elemental exposure. Armor plus one and a lot of resists. Uh, impact foam. Combat belt, tape grip. Balancing weight, instant disco bar. A lot of weapons, anything really good that we want? Seems like the weapons that we have, more or less. Battle rifle. That might not be half bad. We have some... We could do with some energy cells, couldn't we? Yeah. 
cost eight a pop. Let's get like thirty of them. I think we're good on all the other ammo. Uh, nine millimeter, we're not really using spikes. We're not using five fifty six. We have a lot of uh, forty five cal. We have a lot of thirty oh six. We're not using shotgun shells. 38 ammo. We're actually low on 7.62. We don't have any 7.62. Why? Wait. There are one a pop. So. Why does it say two a pop? Do we have... Oh, salt junk. That gives us some more money. Do I want to buy these? Nah. I think we're good. Alright. Let's head over and see if we can find Herb. Uh, I'll do that and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back here in Colorado Springs. Oh, faint static. Go there yet. The patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Okay, so we can go in there now. But that's not where we're going right now. We're going to the market. Oh, Brandy. Raid on Little Vegas nightclub. Blood on the dance floor. <laughs> Blood on the dance floor. I do like rough people up. You get drummed out a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. Maybe so where's the bookstore? Ah, oh, there's Irv. I love uh, stupid! Uh, 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 hi. Do you have any books on cloning? On what? The tall, lanky man is looking over the books on a merchant's stand, muttering nervously to himself. Uh, all right. Mind if we ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wh who are you? We're the Desert Rangers. We've been helping out around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? Uh, we're the ones asking questions. You're Irv, right? Um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Are you going to arrest me? You were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who looked just like you. Any explanation for that? Uh, we found some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... Looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to... to Use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. What do you know about Dr. Finster? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius! He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, 
he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. <laughs> uh, is Finster still alive? The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. <coughs> you believe me, don't you? Probably not really. Uh... We were attacked in your apartment by a few guys. Oh no! Did you kill them? Uh... Why should you care? They were, weren't exactly human, were they? Oh, oh poor Claude. Yeah, they were... They weren't as human as I wanted them to be. I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Uh, tell us more about these clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of mm, afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. <laughs> uh, you believe you're not smart enough to find the new ranch? I'm not. I'm totally not. So you're not going to arrest me? Mm, we're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at Ranger Headquarters. We could use a scientist like you. Let you go back to the Sands of Lux apartments. Will you promise to keep the noise down? Sorry, you're too dangerous to be walking around free beyond the rest. Let's bring him to the Ranger HQ. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! I, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you. I promise. I wonder what we'll be, he'll be useful for. I have no idea. Yeah, the the well, races, let's check I the bookseller here and see what kind of books he has. Why would you even want to lose a bunch of uptight puppies? All the classics. Okay, we can't talk to him. Never mind then. So let's let's take a look at our mission log. So full house house. Uh, we need a garage mechanic. I guess that would be the guy over at the mechanics uh, at the workshop, not uh, McTavish. Then there's an unwelcome guests. Which is the Gideon Reyes one. Don't you be my neighbor. Return Rosie Wong. Return to Rosie Wong in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. You can do that, I guess. Uh, Frontier Justice is a little bit out of range right now. Wolf's Hunt. Find and destroy the synth. Okay, what's our reputation like? Uh, not that famous. Uh, a little bit. A uh, hundred families, not super good but not super bad patriarchs marshals kind of like us and so do the wasteland refugees well since we're here let's head back to rosie wong and talk to her finish that up maybe oh uh, Here's the radio static. This is one of the animatronics. That's October 11. 
I think it is. Uh, it's over here. With the families behind them, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's resort. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler, surrendered his crown. He can his bare flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up on the dotted line. Now his monsters keep us safe in the evening time. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You can say that again. Okay, so it wasn't one of them. them either. Where the hell is this noise coming from? It seemed like it was on over here. Stupid. Is it Junko Murayamo? Woman is scowling and kicking snowish glares at the boarded up machine. She jumps when you approach. Yeah. Who? Oh, hold on. You're the Rangers, right? Talk of the town. Welcome to Colorado. Uh, who are you? Junko Murayama, sculptor, roboticist, amateur historian, and former curator of the Colorado Springs Museum of History. Former curator? Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me, just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year in school. I brought the place into the 22nd century, scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics, remade all the replicas from scratch, cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. Uh, why did the museum close? Officially, because of the Dorsey raid. But I think they didn't like the questions I was asking about the Patriarch's history while I was renovating the exhibits. I mean, why else would they tell me they'll be hiring a new curator? What's that got to do with the raid? Hey, why do you think your questions got the museum shut down? I don't even know. I sent Diligent Joe, the Patriarch's private secretary, a list of questions about the Dorsey family and the routing of the Plains gangs. Just trying to clear up a few weird discrepancies, you know? Well, he doesn't get back to me, and then the raid happens, and I'm out on my ass with no explanation. That's weird, right? Yeah, it is a little bit weird. Uh, sounds like you're proud of the museum. Heck yeah, I am! It was a real sight to behold before they shut it down. Animatronic exhibits portraying our great history. True relics of our struggle to survive, displayed for all to see. Authentic handmade replicas of lost treasures. Just some real A-plus quality work, if I do say so myself. Okay. Mm. Okay. She can join us as well. We're running out of space, aren't we? Oh yeah? What'd you think? Good stuff. You should be proud. Right? Thank you. Nice to be appreciated. I mean, I didn't do it for the praise, but if you want to keep on, I'm way into that. Okay. We've got a big space back at our new HQ. That's rad! Heck yes! Thank 
Thank you. You won't regret this. You're over at the old air base, right? I've read all about that place. It's gonna be pretty crowded over there. So we're trying to find this robot thing. synth thing. Now it's gone. Well, let's head in and give Rosie the news, I guess. So I wonder if the synths are really bad or or is this guy Wolf just holding a grudge or something? never really know in this game. Everyone has kind of a hidden agenda, it seems. It's sometimes a little bit hard to figure out. All right, let's talk to Rosie. Any word on the loony in number three yet, Rangers? <laughs> uh, we found her. If you won't be coming back, you can clear out his room now. About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Uh, he's a clone, and he was afraid of being found and arrested, so he did hid in his room and made other clones for friends. You don't need to know, it's yeah, all taken care of. Serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Oh, my nice. sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. Mission completed. Don't you be my neighbor. And I guess we got some money as well. A little bit, yep. Okay. So, uh, you have the decoy on you and toast, but I think I actually want you to have that on you as well. Right, well, I guess we're out of here. We still have that dude's case. I don't think we opened it, did we? So, hmm, I think the next thing is going to be going to talk to her uncle there, uh, what was his name, Gideon Reyes, to see what he's about. I feel like we've been in Colorado Springs a lot. Uh, I mean, we're... What, 21 episodes in? 22 episodes in or something? 21, I think. And we haven't been outside Colorado Springs. Uh, so... Don't you be my neighbor is done. There was this, that static again. It's definitely coming from in here, isn't it? You like this thing is in here somewhere. Synth. Is it in Little Vegas? I think it's in Little Vegas, maybe. Is it you? Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby mm. gone straight my It's here somewhere. Just 
Don't see it. Where the hell is it? Maybe I'll join the Marshals. I do like the rough people up. Hmm. Let's, okay, we're moving away from it now. You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. Let's talk to this guy. What can I do for you? Uh, what is this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. So these are the guys we want for our car, right? Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? No. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you all a rapper? At the all moment, moment yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about the Arapaho? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder Logistics, Arapaho Caravan Protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when okay. we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Okay. Do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Okay, goodbye. You take care now. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. Okay, sir. Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's long -haul first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, That's he bad. salvaged what he could, it's the turned it into this monster. Okay, we're not hiring any of those guys, I guess. You ever notice that the statue's eyes follow you wherever you go? Uh, nope. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Hmm. Always watching. All right. So, see, now we have that static again. I think, I think we'll go do uh, Uncle Reyes and then try looking for this synth. So Uncle Reyes is down here. But we'll have to do it in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.